check out all my books on audible.com. Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. I'd like to talk about inflammation today and where, where it comes from and what inflammation is. Inflammation is basically the only response, the only immune response the body knows of. So you get a cut on your hand and it's red, uh, you know, and and that's inflammation. Or you get a mosquito bite or uh, an insect bite and you see it's all red there, that's inflammation. So that's the body's response to something that's gotten into it that doesn't belong there. Um, so for instance, when you eat something that you're not supposed to, as an example, any kind of cooked food, but let's use something like a bag of Doritos, um, there's no Dorito tree, there's no Dorito bush. So you're putting something into your body that's really not natural. And your body doesn't know how to handle that. It doesn't know what it is. And so it has an immune response. Um, and um, like for instance, I mean, if you take, if you just were to swallow some poison, your body's gonna know well, that's something that really doesn't belong here. You're gonna have a tremendous immune response to it. Well, you know, a bag of Doritos is poisonous. A bag of potato chips is poisonous. It's not deadly poison. It's going to kill you on the spot or anything, but it's poisonous. So uh, you want to limit those kinds of foods. And there's two types of inflammation. There's acute inflammation. So like when you, you bang your, your hand on something really hard and it turned red and it hurts, that inflammation, that's, that's acute inflammation. And then there is silent inflammation. And that's what we don't even know it's there. And uh, silent inflammation, they only really discovered that about f uh, 15, 20 years ago. I think they have the instrumentation now to be able to see this inflammation that's there, but isn't bothering you. You don't realize that it isn't really hurting you. Um, so that's what inflammation is. And where does it come from? Well, it comes from living on the wrong diet and putting all sorts of substances into your body that don't belong there, that don't have any business being there to begin with. Okay. so. That's where inflammation comes from, uh, putting things into your body that don't belong there, um, whether it's some kind of drugs you're doing, uh, maybe they're pharmaceutical drugs, maybe they're street drugs. Um, you know, they don't belong in the body. You're gonna get an immune response and that's inflammation. You get an immune response every time because your body that's, puts it on alert, but this doesn't belong here, you know. Now, if you have a big tall glass of fresh carrot juice, you're not gonna get an immune response. Some, an apple or you eat some fruit or you have a nice big salad, you're not gonna get an immune response. Uh, another good example of this is when women get uh, men menstrual cramps, you have your, your menstrual cycle, then your body goes through you know, a lot of changes and one of the things that st starts happening is your body's digestion slows down tremendously. Well, if you look at the women that really have bad menstrual cramps, there's two things going on. Number one, they keep eating and eating and eating like normal when you can only digest about two thirds of the, uh, the food that you normally are, are eating. Not to mention, they live on a junk food diet. So if, if you know, it's not everybody who lives on a junk food diet gets menstrual cramps, but in general, w women who get menstrual cramps and very serious menstrual cramps, they live on a, you know, kind of a junky diet, a lot of fried foods, a lot of fast foods, um, you know, a lot of uh, processed foods, uh, a lot of uh, seed oils, they cook with oils. These are the things that really are bad for the body and create huge amounts of inflammation. And then your body, uh, when you go into uh, your cycle, your menstrual cycle, um, it produces something called prostaglandins. And that comes from the word prostate. So men have a prostate. When the prostate gets swollen, the body produces these uh, prostaglandins. And that comes from living on a terrible diet. Men my age, I'm 65, don't have this problem. Uh, then you end up, they get the swelling, the urinary tract goes right through the prostate. And, um, you know, it, uh, it kind of closes it off. So you have to go, feel like you have to go to the bathroom 10 times a night and you, can, you just have to go a little bit. That's because that's, that tube has been cut off. So with a woman, I would recommend both. Uh, a really good thing to address um, inflammation is serapeptase. Um, you could take things like turmeric is a good anti-inflammatory. Uh, frankincense is a great one. Asazanthin is a really good one. C CBD, asazanthin is a very powerful anti-inflammatory. Uh, anti so there's some really great ones out there. Uh, U-Y-E-W, that's a really good anti-inflammatory. You want to take it something very, very internal um, that's going to really slow down the inflammation um, more effectively than anything else I am aware of, that would be serapeptase. 
uh, which is a systemic enzyme or a system enzyme. Now you got to take that in an empty stomach. So if you're just eating something, don't bother. Don't you're just going to waste it. Um, you want to do an empty stomach so it gets down to the lower GI to small intestines. It gets into the bloodstream. Very very effective. If you take if you slow down your eating as a woman, you get some menstrual cramps. Um, slow it down. Don't eat as much. Uh, don't eat anywhere near bedtime. Uh, you should never do that anyway. Take one caps. I sell a really potent form of serapeptase it's called one, uh, serapeptase 150. That's 150,000 uh, SPUs at serapeptase units. Um, so mine's very, very concentrated. You take one of those before you go to bed, one when you wake up in the morning, and then don't eat for about an hour. Same with the, the, the prostate. So you do the same thing. That'll bring down that inflammation tremendously. Um, and so those, those are the things that can really, you know, help you out this inflammation. Again, everybody has it to some degree, but when you live on the wrong foods, and even if it's a, a really, you know, again, there's a spectrum. So if you eat a lot of home cooked meals, you're not going to get so much inflammation. But if you eat everything from, from a box or a jar or a can, uh, or you go down to Mickey D's or any of these fast food joints, uh, a lot of fried foods, you're going to get a huge inflammatory response. And uh, you might feel it in heartburn a little bit, but in general, it does accumulate and become silent information and very, very deadly because your body really can't operate to its capacity uh, when it's full of inflammation. You know, you're really, you're always battling this inflammation. Your body, kind of your immune system is almost working against you at that point. Um, but it's just got all this inflammation throughout the body. So you need to just, best thing you, I would do, um, you fast, stop eating. Um, let your body relax, do a one day fast, don't eat anything, take your serapeptase, you could do that on an empty stomach, you could do as much as two, maybe three times daily, right before you go to bed, as I said, that's a good time to take it. And uh, that'll help really remove and reduce that inflammation tremendously. Dr. Bob, I'll see you next time.